Hi, this is Dr. Fryer, and in this screencast, I'd like to show you how you can take a basic maze game and add some kind of a special ending when you are finished. So I'm going to go ahead and click to see inside. I have already uh, got the basic scripts in here for the game, and so I'm going to just play it really quick to show it to you. Um, so I hit the green flag, and my block begins in the upper left corner, and I actually do have to navigate all the way down and through this because every time I try to move through a wall, touch purple, I bounce back. So I've got to navigate all the way around here to get to the end. And I have this set where, actually I guess there's two different pathways I can follow. I probably ought to put a purple, purple one there. I'll move my picture here out of the way. So when I'm going down here and I touch my yellow then voila it just says nicely done that's it okay so let's take a look at the scripts that do that um, the basic scripts I can get out of the scratch here that can stop okay that was weird um, <laughs> my basic scripts here I've got all of my up down left and right control scripts for my main sprite and then I've got uh, scripts that move my sprite up here to the corner and then when I'm um, touching a, touching the wall it either makes me bounce back or um, when I touch the color here it, it allows me to win so that's really it and then I've just drawn my scripts here on the backdrop so if I'd like to have something kind of special or different happen here uh, maybe I'd like to have it change colors or something uh, in the background change. There's several ways to do that and the way I um, like to, to show students how to do it is by using something that's called a broadcast and so uh, this is actually a control script so it's yellow and um, you're gonna drag broadcast and the way I think about broadcast is it's kind of like in a movie when they're saying quiet on the set scene two ready action and so they are shouting that out and they have a clapboard that goes down to synchronize the sound with all the cameras and that is something that everybody can hear that the scene has started that is exactly what the broadcast does here in scratch it shouts a message although it's quiet but it is received by everything in the project so the sprites that you have the backgrounds you have all the parts of the project can hear this message so I'm gonna just um, say I want to call this message you win and so this broadcast is happening right at the end here um, after we win after we touch the the yellow um, sprite or the sorry the yellow um, square and we get to the end now that I'm broadcasting that I can cause some things to happen so I'm gonna click over here on my backdrops and I'm going to actually go ahead and just label my first backdrop level one because I might be adding uh, some, other, some more levels here in a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring in uh, a celebratory background. So uh, I think I have got one that has balloons or that's a party. Yeah, and I'm just going to go ahead and bring this in. So I've got this background. Now, I have more than one background, so I'm going to need code that tells my project which background to show when I start and then when we have that um, happen when when um, somebody wins so when the green flag is clicked and again I'm on my backdrops and I'm doing code for backdrops I'm gonna go to looks and I'm gonna say when the green flag is clicked I want you to be on level one that's the backdrop that I want to have showing and then the next one I have is going to be part of the broadcast it's gonna say when I receive when I receive you win then I want to switch to backdrop number two, which is called the party. Okay, and I could also do something like uh, have a sound, so I could record something. Great job! You've won the game. And I can go ahead and edit this to make sure I'm only getting the parts of this audio that I want. Great job! You've won the game. And so now that that sound is here, I can use code to say I'd like you or I'd like the program to play that um, when I get to that last spot. So I'm going to go under sound and I'm going to say start the sound when I win to say, and I guess it's just called recording one. I can, I can change that to be 
you know, you win. Oh, great job. Great job, you win. Whatever. I can, I can name it whatever I want, and then that is going to play when I win. And then uh, lastly, I may want my sprite to disappear, and so I can go ahead and put, if I click on my sprite, I could go ahead and um, hide my sprite, and so if I'm going to if I'm going to have a hide, I'm going to need to do a show at the beginning. So if I say when it broadcasts you win, my sprite hides, then I'm going to make sure that I have under the green flag a block so it will show. Okay? So um, let's see if how this works. And then I may do one other thing um, here on my backdrop. I'm going to go ahead and use a text box, and I'm just going to type with text. Uh, I probably better get a font that I can see. I'll just use my eyedropper and, and pick up uh, purple. And so I'm clicking in here and I'm just going to say, you win. Thank you, Google Dictionary, for defining you. And now I can stretch that and make that nice and big. Okay, so then that's going to that's gonna show as well. So let's play it. Let's see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen and click my green dot here. I have to move myself around. And so now when I click the green flag, I can use my arrow keys. Now I could go, I'm going to kind of cheat here to make this faster. I'm going to use my mouse and I'm just going to, can I do that? I should be able to. Oh, I thought it would let me. I guess when I'm maybe not in full screen mode, I can drag my mouse down there. So I'm going to move my mouse all the way down. I got to win my game. I can't really go super fast. That's okay. And so now it's not only going to say, oh yes, or whatever, for four seconds. There we go. Nicely done. It's also going to change. Great job. You've won the game. And it changes that background and it plays that sound. So um, that, and then it'll reset. When I click my green flag, it resets to the beginning. So uh, that's those are the steps. Um, remember that you're going to be painting uh, additional backdrops. So if you want to have a, another screen here, you, you just make that as a backdrop. You've got to have code that says what you start with, okay, which backdrop, and then when you receive the, the broadcast, how it changes. Okay, and then over here on your sprite, you will be adding this broadcast so that when you, or when the person, the player wins the game, it goes ahead and broadcasts, and in this case I also chose it to hide. And then I added the show right after the red flag, or the green flag, that was it, all right? So good luck, um, and if you happen to be a teacher or somebody uh, who is working with students, you can go to my website, mdtech.cassidy.org, and I've got a link here for Scratch Maze, and that's where this video is and some other resources about making scratch mazes. Good luck. Have fun.